Okay, today we want to talk about a form hitting drill. Just a dry hitting drill that we like to do with youth players. And honestly, I think it's something that youth coaches should do before they start the hitting portion of their practice. What we want to do is we really just want to get the kids to line up on the foul line. It could be a left field line, right field line. And we want to just take them through all the steps of our swing, stopping them, allowing the coaches to walk around and correct any faults that they may see with the players. So a very simple little form drill. We just want to break it down into our steps. First off, we want to tell the kids to lay the bat on the ground, put the bat in their fingertips, line up our door knocking up knuckles. Again, it's just like playing a flute. We want to keep everything nice and loose. We're going to lift the bat up to our shoulder, and then from the shoulder, all we want the kids to do is just lift the bat up about six inches, and I'll put us in a good hitting position, all right, for our stance. Again, my feet are parallel, my front foot is off the back corner, I'm slightly outside of shoulder width apart with my feet, and I've got a little bend and a little flex in my knees. So I'm in a good stance position. So that's the first part, all right? Form hitting drill, when we say one, stance. So we put the kids in a stance and we evaluate all those things we just talked about. Step two is gonna be our load and stride. So coach is gonna say two, and what we want the kids to do is stride, straight, short, and soft, and load with our hands. And when we load, okay, we want the kids to just do a little small reverse C. Just a little small reverse C with their hands. Right to this position. Now this puts us in a good hitting position. So again, step one, stance. Let's work on keeping our head on our front shoulder. Step two, stride and load. Short, soft, straight, a little reverse C. It's just like we're tightening a rubber band, okay? Step three is gonna be A to C, all right? We talked before that we don't wanna drop our hands to point B, which will force us to uppercut. We wanna go down a sliding board, A to C. So from here, step three, we talk to the kids, we start our swing, keeping our hands inside our body, and I'm at A to C. My chin is now over the center part of my body, so that I'm keeping my head directly over the barrel and at contact. As I start to do this, my back foot does start to turn. So that's step three, A to C. Step four, it's gonna be point to the pitcher, extension, now I've squished above with my back foot, Again, my head is staying down now on my back shoulder. I don't want to follow my swing. I want to keep my, my chin starting to go over my back shoulder at the point of contact. And then finally, I want to finish with the bat above step five, above my back shoulder, finish with the squish and above. So again, form hitting drill, simple five steps. Step one is our stance. Bat in the fingertips, off the shoulder, lift it up, and I'm in stance. Two. Stride load. Three, A to C. Four, extension. Point the barrel of the bat at the pitcher. Hips are squared, squished above. Five, finish follow through. Now my head's on my back shoulder, and my bat's above my front shoulder. Okay, simple five step form hitting drill. Allows the coaches again to walk around after each step and just correct anything the kids may be doing. Long strides, not striding straight, making sure our hands get up, making sure our head's on the ball, and then when we finish, we finish above the shoulder with our head on our back shoulder. So it's a good little teaching drill that I think all youth coaches should do prior to starting the hitting portion of their practices.